Ladies and gentlemen, it has come to pass. NXT TakeOver Unstoppable, and we're here for live reactions. Oh, man, it's going to be something, guys. NXT TakeOver Unstoppable Live Reactions. I'm John A.K. Vocal Gresham, alongside my cohort and commentary. This show is going to be nuts. Let's see what we open with, dude. Oh, man. Um, I don't know. Oh, oh, God, it's going to be Tyler Breeze. Wow. He's getting a custom entrance. I don't know if anybody called that. I thought this would be in the middle of the card. Yeah, honestly, I predicted the tag team titles being the opener, believe it or not, because I know that's opened some live specials before. Uh, yeah, and see, I predicted the tag team divas match to be the opener. Yeah, I can't believe, you know what, maybe they wanted to get this match out of the way early for whatever reason, I don't know. Um, there he is, Prince Pretty, everyone! Wow, what an entrance. Is that like a cape robe or something? Like yes! That? Wow. That's like what, well, not even a robe, that's just a straight up cape. That's like what Barrett always wears to the ring. But Breeze does it so much better. <laughs> I think I now really, truly realize the difference between Gorgeous and Uggo. <laughs> I mean, he does have fur on his. Somebody call PETA. Yeah. And not that useless sack of shit from Hunger Games, either. Oh, the references going on right now. We aren't even five minutes in. <laughs> Dude, I love it. I mean, in hindsight, I don't think that there is a type of PETA that isn't useless. You yeah. Know, character from Hunger Games, the bread, the animal rights activist group, you know, they're just, they're just all pretty terrible for the most part. Oh, dude, when you hear the shit about those guys that I've heard, yeah, you realize they're not all that just and all that other kind of stuff as people I'm sure would like to believe. I mean, talk about fear mongering, for God's sakes. Yeah, really. Dumping paint on people. Oh, yeah, flower bombs I've heard for some. Yep. It, it's, yeah, it, it's crazy. But, for now, let's talk about Prince Pretty, Tyler Breeze. Yeah, I don't even know how we can have even a quasi-political commentary when such gorgeousness is in the ring right now. Oh, I do man. believe that they're going to make it official that it's a one-on-one -on -one match now. How much do you want to bet that when Tyler Breeze walks down the street and, like, guys walk up to him and they're like, hey, do I know you? He responds with, yeah, I'm that guy you wish you were, and then just walks off. Oh maybe he doesn't even God. take his eyes off the phone. You know, you know, maybe 25 years ago when everyone tried to stay in character outside of the ring, but now I think he's probably <laughs> a pretty cool guy. Hey, actually, he came off really well in that E6. Oh, Hideo, they're playing it off. Oh, Why? Dude, how perfect was that? They were getting ready to do something with Enzo and Cass. And they heard Owen something. Just walks by. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Owens, dude. No, but seriously, though, that was genius because it was like they, they set it up as like a facade that they were going to be doing like an Enzo big cast kind of like, oh, hey, guys, what do you think about your match tonight kind of thing? And they started talking, but then they heard the noise, and they went over, and oh, look, there's Hideo and Tommy. I love NXT so much! Uh, NXT was clutch here, definitely, because I, I think it uh, it's definitely a really clever way to write Hideo and Tommy off TV while he's dealing with his issues. And, I mean, obviously, we here at 2 I wish him a very speedy recovery. What heart, is going on match. right now? I think... Bowers entrance, right? He's oh, yeah, but there the was, beat. like, weird demonic voices before the heartbeat started. Oh, God, that means the demon's slowly taking over. Oh, <laughs> Jesus, we're all doomed. <laughs> Finn chance, baby! Finn! 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 Oh, my God, yeah, he's bringing out the demon. You, oh, he's got, he's got spikes! He's got spikes! Holy shit, it's growing. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, my God, this is... He's got wings?! What? He's got freaking spikes and wings. You're kidding me, right? Dude. What? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Jesus. What? Oh, if that doesn't get that was awesome, Chance. I no longer trust you, Full Sail. Holy crap. 
Dude, notice something, though. Even though he's got the wings and the spikes going on, there's actually less paint on his midsection. Oh, the holy shit, Chance, there it is! Yeah. Dude, they're making Unstoppable feel like a WrestleMania right now with these unique entrances. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Breeze got one. Bauer updated his, so I want to sort of say like he got one, but he definitely upgraded his. Oh my his. god! Holy shit! I fucking love NXT. He's got freaking spikes and wings for God's sake. Like, you know, Ash, just seeing these entrances alone really harkens me back to our preview and predictions. And I think you said it perfectly, dude. You can say what you want lately about the NXT like television product because it's been good, but. You know, the really stellar days, I don't really know if we've seen many of those lately, but these live specials, even with the aesthetic of it all and the look of it all, they make it have such pageantry and such grandeur, you can't help but be swept up in it. And when I see Finn Bauer make his entrance, hell, Bree's making his entrance prior to that, I just get goosebumps for days. Unbelievable. Oh my god. Unbelievable. He's perched up on the top rope like a freaking gargoyle. I love it. I'm not sure if they're turning him into a demon or a freaking dragon, for God's sakes. I have no idea what's going on, but I, I'm going with it, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm not asking a question. I can't believe this match is opening the show, but it's so well done because they did the whole thing with Itami. Right. Oh, it's so good. Oh, man, but you know what, though? You talking about how the demon's kind of undefeated, and you and I both picked Breeze yeah. over Bauer. Yeah. Jesus, yeah. what's going on right now? <laughs> what's happening? So. Yeah, I'm I'm legitimately concerned right now. Dude. Because... Freaking wings. Oh, my God. I want to know who thought of that. Breeze isn't intimidated. He's kind no, of... No, he really isn't. He's got, like, a stone-faced look on his face. I think he's slightly curious. Yeah. He's probably thinking, eh, I would have worn it better. <laughs> oh, he's got a gigantic eyeball on his back. Oh, my God. I don't know if you saw it or not, but they're actually starting to sell face masks that have, like, the, the demon Balor teeth on them. I, I, I want everyone within the sound of my voice to hear me when I say that... Uh, I don't. I don't care what the budget limit is for WrestleMania. You put all the money to give that man the best entrance possible, all the time, just everything, anything you would ask for, do it because this guy knows how to make an entrance. Good. It's God. such a huge. And now this is on two different levels. It's a huge shame that Owen Hart fell when he did, and it's a shame on two different levels because obviously, first of all, it's a shame that he's dead. He shouldn't be. I, but the second of all, because they're never going to use the the harness flying from the the rafter system, because if they could. It would be Finn Balor. Yeah. Th th this guy just knows how to use it. So not only, him. not only, oh my God, there are hands reaching out from his pants. Wait, what? Did you see oh that? My, oh my God. Like, yeah, his body's like totally transformed. A canvas. Into, like, yeah, a canvas completely. And he's got scratches all over his legs. And that eyeball though. On his back. Yeah. Dude. You know that that, like, two workers are just there. And, and really, I, I say more for Bauer, obviously. When the crowd is hot already just from the entrance. Like, the last time I can really remember saying that from, like, on the main roster level, um, that wasn't, like, a John Cena open challenge, but just people getting swept up by entrances would be, like, the Wyatt family versus the Shield. Because that already got, like, this is awesome. Yeah, so. that's right. For what it's worth, we do have split chance here guys we have dueling chance let's go bower let's go breeze or at yeah. least we had them i don't know if we still do breeze breeze has gained a lot of fanfare i mean it's funny because he is a heel oh right? wow breeze actually won the power battle wow that's surprising you'd never know that from looking at their physiques oh but nice go behind there right into the side headlock that was yeah. that was beautiful transitioning there by breeze He's quicker than a hiccup and you know but bower is too though so i can't even really say that's like an asset for breeze because Balor, man, and when he sets a pace, he is lethal. Yeah. And I'm just, I can't, I can't get over his body paint tonight. Like, holy crap. It's amazing. Yeah, let's see now. I think the coolest thing isn't even necessarily the paint. It's the freaking attire. Like, he comes out wearing wings with a spiked spine. Like, just unbelievable. Definitely. And there's the dropkick there from Balor. We have Breeze's gorgeous no-he's-not chance going on. 
Okay, for those saying no, he's not. That's a bit hyperbolic. <laughs> All right, going for the death. Oh, but Breeze back in. And I'll tell you, Bauer right now is in control. Ashton noted on preview predictions again. It's worth noting the Demon Bauer is undefeated. Usually comes out four live specials. Yeah, well, I mean, for what record. it's worth, I was just gonna say, as far as we know, he's still only two and zero. Oh, so it's not like this is like this big ridiculous this big undefeated streak. streak. Yeah. He just, I don't know, he shows up when it comes to these big game matchups. And, I mean, it doesn't get any bigger than being the number one contender for the NXT World Championship. Hit. And, and Breeze now, springboard dropkick there. Springboard, I would have called it a springboard in Zagiri. I, I think that was a uh, dropkick. Shades of uh, Lionheart Chris Jericho there. Yeah, hey, uh, you know, it's funny because from what I understand, uh, Breeze is a Lance Storm trainee. And Storm and Jericho were both Heart Dungeon graduates. Yeah. So, I mean, to me, that makes Tyler Breeze a second-generation Heart Dungeon graduate. Yeah, Heart, heart Dungeon graduate by proxy. <laughs> heart, grun, heart Dungeon graduate first removed. There you go. Or one-time removed, I guess it would be. Yeah, when are the refs going to learn? You know, it needs to start being written in their manuals. You do not touch Tyler Breeze. It should be punishable with a 50 They need to stop fine. throwing him into the ropes. He's poking his eye. All right, all right, Ruff, we, we, we get it. Every single time Finn Balor gets thrown into the turnbuckles, the eye on his back gets poked. Yeah, it's really going to damage the paint, unfortunately. But, uh, oh, look at Breeze there with the double underhook. And then, oh, uh, looking for beautiful. something, neck breaker. Beautiful. Hooks the leg, two, and, of course, Bauer kicks out. The you one... say, of course, like you're disappointed. Uh, no, no, I mean, I we just know that Bauer's a tough son of a gun, Yeah. you know? Uh, but I, I was getting ready to say, like, we know that if Breeze has had any problem, at least to me, he can get easily exasperated when a match really isn't going his way after a certain time, if he can't yeah. get put a guy away. He gets and very frustrated. Definitely. And Balor, I mean, again, he, he's as resilient as they come, so Breeze better bring the big guns and more. If he oh, wants wow. To Dude, Breeze is doing such a good job of grounding Balor. Definitely. That was Every time stuff. Balor gets a little bit of momentum, Breeze does, you know, a snap mirror or a headlock takedown, some kind of a manipulative takedown style move to keep Balor off his feet. And, you know, I mean, not, th not to say that they are exactly alike because no two people are exactly alike, but I, I would have to imagine that it did benefit Breeze to a degree to have the series that he did. Look at that! Look at that! He grabs the tights and, and he, this time. Beautiful, beautiful, keeping him grounded. But it must have really benefited Breeze to have the series with Itami that he did. Yeah. Because I feel like Itami and Bauer do have similarities in their offensive styling. Yeah. So. I mean, I would argue that Bauer is more high flying and Itami is more just straight up kick you as many times as possible. Yeah. But they have some very similar moves in their arsenal, the most telling of which is the corner basement dropkick. Exactly, which Breeze, I mean, after feeling it so many times, should have it That well was brilliant, scouted. the roll oh, dropkick. Beautiful. That we're able to use his own momentum to kind of get back in the driver's seat here. Yeah. It's always cool to see guys actually using moves that are intelligent. Like, that was, like he used his own momentum to continue and roll through and do the drop kick. It just makes sense. Right. And there he used Breeze's momentum against him. And then he got the forearm smash. There's, there's the forearm, yes. Starting to build it back. Oh, nice what a chop. chop. Drop kick. Nice. Oh, there you need to be in the corner, dude. Yeah, really. But look at look at the awareness of Breeze, though. And see, that that's the difference. He needs to work on his awareness even more, though, because he's about uh, to... Oh, my God. Yeah. Demon oh. came to feast tonight. <laughs> what was that? Oh, the demon That's came funny. to feast tonight. Okay. Uh, yeah. I thought you said the demon king to feast tonight. I was a little confused. Uh, yeah. I mean, Breeze ain't getting away. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, wow. He's going for coup de gras already. Yeah, Are we going to see? No. Look at Breeze. Not even trying to reverse it. Just using his ring savvy to get out of the way. And I like how he creates distance, or at least attempts to create distance, between him and Bauer because he realizes that close quarters does not favor Tyler Breeze against a guy like Finn Bauer. And now, oh, reverse the Irish whip. Breeze into the corner. And, oh, wow. I thought that was going to be Breeze's offensive maneuver, to be honest, but it was not. What a kick. Yep. And, and Breeze kicks out. Yep. 
Tyler Breeze. It has been on such a roll. We talked about that as well on preview and predictions. You have to imagine he he can taste Ashton, that number one contendership for the NXT Championship. You want to talk about tasting. I mean, Finn Bauer was in it. He had yeah. it with Kevin Owens, yep. and he wants to be there again. Nice snapmare counter. And oh, what a shot to the face. Dude, Breeze is using snapmares to probably the most stunning effectiveness I've ever seen anyone use them. Completely agree, but there's the sling blade, and this is not looking good for Breeze. He wants the shotgun drop kick in the corner. I don't know, but Breeze, I, I think he may be able to get out of it. And so, oh, super model kick! Super nice. model kick by Breeze! Nice. Packages him up, two, and of course, uh, yeah, kick out. Like I said, tough son of a gun is <laughs> Finn Bauer. Has anyone ever been pinned by the supermodel kick? I don't think. Uh, maybe one person was pinned by the supermodel kick, and I can't even remember who. But, you know, a lot of the times. No, it, in my luck, Ty freaking Dillinger. Yeah, really. <laughs> Byron Saxton doing a great job. Oh, Breeze is going for the turnbuckle. Oh, man. Do we really need another turnbuckle loose finish? I, I would hope that they could avoid it. I would like to see, you know, and I'm, I think maybe that's asking for too much, but I would like to see Breeze beat Bauer Queen. Although, yeah, I was just going to say, though, maybe if they use the turnbuckle, it'll be a good way to, to give the Demon Bauer his first loss with, while keeping him strong. Yeah, that's a great point. And, yeah, and see, that's what I'm talking about, that frustration. Breeze has got to be careful with this referee admonishing him. He's lucky the referee's been that lenient. I think if it was a it was a WWE Raw ref, this match might have oh. been thrown out. Super uh, beauty shot. Oh, roll up. Oh, ducks. Oh, double stop it. Oh, look at that. Got out. Roll up two and oh, kick out there by Bauer. No. Oh. Oh, nice catch there by. Oh, that's two. It. It's gonna be over here. Oh wow, beauty shot. Oh my God, he kicked out. Dude. Oh, what? He kicked wow. out of the beauty shot, dude. Oh, wow. After eating the turnbuckle as well. Yeah, well, he didn't eat it. He just got it to the shoulder. That's true. Uh, and see, there's the frustration. I mean, Breeze is practically throwing a temper tantrum. Dude, let me just say, though, thank you, NXT, for not giving us a repeat finish. Yeah, really. Because didn't we get this exact same finish at Payback between Ryback and Bray Wyatt? More or less, because, yeah, Ryback, his, like, midsection ate the turnbuckle, and then Sister Abigail, and then win. So, yeah, yeah. NXT, yeah. So, uh, yeah, NXT paying a little homage and saying, no, 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 we're not going that same route. But, Ashton, I got to tell you, man, th this is exactly what I talked about at the start of the match. Uh, Br uh, Breeze, is, is Breeze walking out? Where, where, where? Oh, 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 punch! I didn't even know what was going on. But Breeze finally collecting himself. Dude, he practically had a nuclear meltdown in that ring, and that allowed Bauer time that you don't want to give a competitor. Oh, like what that. is Bauer like, doing? Coup de gras off the No, Breeze is getting up cross body, probably. Maybe oh, a double stomp to the back? Oh, dear God, that would kill him from that height. No? Oh, God, what are you Please don't you, die, Chance. What are you doing, Bauer? Oh, my God. Oh, uh, I don't even know what to call that. Maybe an elbow drop to the shoulder? I get look like elbow drop, cross by just something. Just putting all of his body weight on Breeze. Oh, man. He rolls Breeze into oh, the ring the exact man. same way he gets in. Here's the shotgun drop kick. Yeah, this could be the beginning of the end here, folks. You may be seeing the end of Tyler Breeze. He and there's this. Oh, and Breeze is in man. position. It's over. This is going to be it, isn't it? Oh, man. So much for our dream match, bud. There it is. Right, it's over. Count One, to two, three. There it is. Demon Balor undefeated. We need to remember that in the future. We do, man. We do. I almost talked myself into picking him, but uh, I just held back. Demon Balor is undefeated, dude. That is if crazy. he faces the NXT champion at the next live special, he's going to win it. Yeah. Holy crap. You know, it's funny, too, because, I mean, Owens even said you're going to need the demon. And, I mean, yep. that that's the only reason I believe Finn Bauer lost. Yep. Um, but you know what this does do, though, is really cement the fact that Owens is winning tonight. Yeah. Because they're not going to give the belt to, to Zayn and have Bauer versus Zayn. 
that was a great opener. Yeah. I really thought Breeze was going to have it. And you know what? I even, you know what, dude? I almost tied myself into picking Balor as well because remember what I told you. Breeze had so much momentum going into this event that it's uncharacteristic for a heel to win when they've got so much momentum going into the big show. Yeah. And I should have I should have listened to myself. I should have listened you, to whatever. Uh, you with your momentum angle. We with my demon angle. Man, we we, we should have. We should have listened to ourselves, damn it. Yeah, we really should have. We should have listened to ourselves, and we should have listened to each other. So I'm going to apologize to you for not listening to you. And and right uh, back at you for the momentum angle, too, because that's uh, we, we can't ignore that kind of stuff. No, we, we really can't, and we certainly can't ignore this. That dive, that was the beginning of the end. I'd say the and beginning of the end was the freaking Superman punch onto the ramp. <laughs> no one saw that coming, man. Oh, man, what a great freaking match, though. Oh, man, dude, Kevin Owens staring at Finn Balor from the back. Oh, Balor is talking to the camera. This is so good. Yeah, man. Oh, man. You hold those arms up, Finn. You deserve this. Unbelievable. I can't believe he's won two consecutive number one contender matches. Yeah, that's crazy, man. In live now. specials. Oh, look, there's Stephanie. Stephanie Twice. McMahon is in the front row. That's awesome. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. I mean, it just shows you how big NXT is when you've got people, you know, from Game of Thrones and Stephanie McMahon, you know, in the audience. Yeah. Oh, man. Finn Balor, number one contender. Kevin Owens looks concerned. I haven't seen Kevin Owens. I don't know if I would say he looked concerned. He certainly looked irritated. I don't think that was the outcome he wanted. I'll give you irritated. Yeah, I mean, I don't think that's the outcome he wanted whatsoever. You think he was hoping to fight Tyler Breeze? Uh, yeah, I think, you know what, honestly, and and maybe they'd even use that as a thing in the future, but uh, I think Owens thought he could probably run roughshod over Breeze, but Bauer did take him to the limit. In fact, it wasn't even Owens that beat Bauer. To me, it was Bauer that beat Bauer because of the knee problems. The knee just gave out, the adrenaline wore off, and Owens capitalized. I think Owens knows it, you know? All right, guys, I'm going to cut the recording here. We'll be back for the next match. All right, guys.